Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I'm Ron, and thank you for stopping by. In this video, I want to do just one thing. I want to clear up any confusion or misinformation surrounding the Skydio 2 telemetry information. Even Skydio themselves had been miscommunicating how to read some of the tel telemetry fields. Now, when the Skydio 2 first started shipping, there was no telemetry information at all. Users quickly asked for this information, and Skydio quickly responded. In around mid-December 2019, Skydio added the telemetry information within the companion app. That was with their release of firmware version 5.41.3. But as of this video, we're currently at firmware 5.41.84, and I'm sure we'll see more firmware updates as well. Here's the actual screen capture of the telemetry information you'll find within the app. The first line shows you the speed at which the quad is traveling. The second line shows you the distance the drone has traveled from its original launch point and a third line shows you the drone's height based on the ground takeoff point or the original launch point. So, if you fly the drone toward a higher elevation of land, it's always going to give you the height from the original launch point and not the height from the new location which the drone may be currently flying. Again, the data is based on the original launch point or the takeoff point. Now, a lot of people thought that the second line was the distance from the actual controller, but that's not the case. Again, it's the distance the drone has traveled from its original launch point, and I pointed this out to Skydio as well, as they too were miscommunicating the information to some of their users. As of this video upload, I don't believe any other YouTube videos correctly identify that second line in the telemetry field. Again, it's not the distance from the remote controller as most others are stating. Clearly, in this video, you can see in the second line that it's increasing as they move away from the launch point. Now, both my iPhone with the companion app and the Skydio beacon are in my hands. If you watch the first video I posted on the Skydio 2, and I'll put a link up here as well, if you didn't see that, you'll notice the greatest distance I travel from the original launch point was 0.67 miles. Then I turn around and start heading back toward the point I took off. Fast forward in the video and I'm riding back to the point I launched the drone and you can see here the distance is decreasing. It would have hit a value of zero had I rode all the way back to where I had actually taken off. Again, I just want to clarify how you're reading the telemetry information, and sounds like Skydio is going to start communicating this correctly going forward as well. Additionally, Skydio told me in an email that the elevation or height information will most likely change in the future with updates, or at least give the users the option to choose the reference point. I'm taking this to mean at some point in the future you'll be able to view the height of your drone from a point which you, the user, decide, not always the actual launch point. So I hope this clears up the telemetry information for everybody. Again, this is where we're at currently with the current firmware for 5.41.85 and as of this video upload. But again, things change, so keep a lookout for additional updates moving forward. And that's it. If you got any value out of this video, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. It's always appreciated. Also, don't forget to like, subscribe, ring that bell for future video notifications. Let me know in the comments if there's anything you'd like to see with the Skydio, anything that I haven't covered to date. I do have some more videos coming. So until next time, take care, happy flying, and remember, as always, we got this.